All right, let's do a couple things. Let's offset some dimensions here so that we can actually draw all this and then we'll be good to go. So let's try. The highest point up. I don't want to trim, I want to offset thing your high. Torn ortho on so it stays nice and straight. And realize that um, that's not where that was supposed to go. Gravel. That's where that's supposed to go. Come on. There we go. Uh, yes, 10 looks good. Please place it and keep it there. Thank you very much. There, come on. pretty darn good. Actually, I may change it to one. So sometimes you have to look at this and use your own thought process. Okay, now back to offsetting. All I'm doing is looking at the example given to me and showing me where all the dimensions and everything are and I'm just kind of giving me some lines to use. Remember these lines go away when we get done. They're not going to stay here permanently. They're just here for now to give me some help here in a second when I get ready to dimension, to dimension it. That's why I'm not really worried about what color they are and I'm not really worried about any of that. I just need it to be there long enough for me to use it as a tool to keep my dimensionings lined up and to keep them all proportional and together. All right, I think that's all I'm going to need. All right, so let's go put this in the 8.5 by 11. Again, layer 0, layout, dimension. I mean, sorry, layout, rectangular. Corner to corner. That fits in here so that we see this, but we don't actually see the box when we print it. Properties. And we're going to change it from custom to one and a half to one. Double left click and pan it so it's nice and centered. There we go, looks good. Double left click the outside, and I can now turn properties off because that's the way it needs to go. So I know I'm using a half inch scale on this one. If I'm not sure that's what I'm going to use, I could left click again, right click properties, and I could see maybe a three quarter inch scale fits. And it does not, so that tells me that I definitely need to keep it at the half. But it may fit in the 11 by 17, so that's where you have to kind of like play. All right, um, home, dimension, linear, and just start dimensioning away. So example here to here goes up here. It doesn't really matter what direction it's facing. Again, it just matters in which direction in which you pick your points as to which direction it's going to face. 
So those are fine as long as it's there and we can see it. And so that's all I'm doing is I'm dimensioning just like you normally would. So you dimension it and the same thing with doing your leaders. Like for an example, this one here. That thing. I'll have to turn it off so I can actually get it to go where I want it to go. Should be 0 .0, 0.12. Should be city blueprint. Should be by layer. Should be middle center. And that one would be concrete. And then again, I can just copy paste it. And I just realized we're missing something here. We're missing the honey mush. Oh, this is no bueno. How do we fix that? Oh no. Okay, back to your model space. Zoom in here, and it says that the honeycomb is down. Spacebar, hanger hide. Makes you feel better, doesn't it? Layer, new one call honeycomb. Go ahead and put that on the same cyan. Okay. Go find honeycomb. Good. Except for it's the wrong layer. Remember, it's just a matter of changing it and putting it on the right one. And if you've got a layer that's acting wacky, like the honeycomb, because it should be cyan, and it should be default, not so thick. And now it's there. Excellent. So now we would just need to put those in there so we can go dimension this sucker now. So dimensions, linear. we need to dimension it because it's supposed to be that is a total of that's supposed to be three not six so I need to go back in and see where we got off here because the distance from the edge here should be down nine and then the distance from there down should be three let's go back and see what we did it's one of those things that's all you can do it's just one of those things okay sorry 
So overall dimension from outside edge to from here to here should be 11. Let's just check to make sure we haven't gotten any of that off. Okay, that is 11, so that is correct. So then we need to come from this edge here down 9 and then down 3. Okay, good. So that tells me this is where we're off. Okay, there we go. So that one should be part of gravel. And that should be honeycomb. And ten, okay, good. And then that one's going to be gravel. And like I said, it should be up here. Doesn't always work that way, but it should. And 10 looks good. Okay, and then concrete, because that one needs to be. There we go. Now we can dimension it correctly. So you have to pay attention to those things when you're working. And if you get off, do not panic. Fix it. It is no big deal. We are working in AutoCAD. It's easy to fix. And I'm going to go reverse selection. So that the three goes to the outside there. There we go. Come on, outside, not there we go, not on the inside. It's just a matter of copying and pasting those leaders and making everything line up. 